everybody, thanks for joining me. This is gonna be a super quick, very easy hair tutorial. I almost feel funny calling it a tutorial because it's just like one little trick that'll help you achieve this little top knot, half up, half down bun, AKA the fun bun, which ever since Tyler started referring to mine as that, um, that's the only thing I can think of when I think of this hairstyle. But the nice thing about this look, at least in my opinion, is that it doesn't have to be precise at all. You know, it's just kind of a very easy, go with the flow type look, very beachy, and it's just fun, you know? Like, this look might not be for everyone, but whenever I'm wearing it, I just feel like, hey, you know, I got my bun on today. I'm rocking my bun. But then I've still got all this hair down here and you feel a little more glamorous. And I've seen this hairdo a couple times on TV and in magazines. And when I first tried to do it, I felt like it was taking me way too long to create this bun up here because I was pulling my hair half up, but my hair is very fine. So when I take just this half up section and twist it into a bun, it looks like teeny tiny. It's like, I don't, I don't know, it's the size of... It's like smaller than the size of this beauty blender sponge on top of my head. And it just, I don't know, it doesn't even make sense to have it there if it's gonna be that teensy. So I started thinking about ways I could beef it up a little bit. And you know those like mesh donuts that you might use to wrap your hair around for just a regular bun? They seem way too big, but my good old friend the scrunchie came in <laughs> to save the day for this look. And just as a starting point, you know, you can wear your hair wavy or straight. Um, I have worn my hair straight with this style recently, so you can see how that looks today, just to show you, you know, how it looks with a little more texture. So beyond whatever you use to style your hair, um, you just need a scrunchie and then an additional, like, elastic hair tie, preferably something that will blend in with your hair color in case it shows a little bit, but it shouldn't really end up showing up in this look. So the first thing you do is just kind of section off some hair for your half up part. I go, you know, a couple inches above my ear with what I pull up and um, it's totally up to you, you know, however you want this look to come off. And I don't feel the need to do any really precise sectioning with this. But once you've got that sectioned off, you kind of want to make sure you're pulling it up right on top of your head. Um, if the bun is placed too far back on your head, it'll look kind of funny. So you really want it to be like a top knot. And then take your scrunchie and I go around my hair three times with my scrunchie. In case you're wondering why I have scrunchies on hand still, they're actually really good if you sleep with your hair in a high ponytail at night. Put a scrunchie around it and then when you take it down in the morning your hair's got so much more volume it doesn't leave any kind of dent in the hair. So I think I talked about that in a favorites video a while ago. Anyway, now that your hair's pulled up into this super fun high ponytail, you know, whip it around, whatever, and then start wrapping it. Just kind of, I like to pull the ponytail forward and then just begin wrapping around the scrunchie. And what that scrunchie does is it gives your bun a little extra size and um, just something easy to wrap around to give you the shape. And, and once you've finished wrapping, you know, kind of tuck the ends and then I take just a dark brown elastic band and I go around my bun twice with that. And then you can kind of start moving things around a bit. Um, if you've still got any ends sprucing out, you can tuck them in. But basically once you've done that, your bun feels really secure and then you can spray it with just a little bit of hairspray to ensure that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I've of course got little baby hairs that I'm doing stuff with but once you're finished with that the look is pretty much done. For me I really enjoy it in the summer because I like having my hair off of my face and this is just like one more style that allows me to do that. And if you try this style I really hope you'll send me some pictures on Snapchat or maybe tag me on Instagram so I can see. So thank you guys I'll see you later. Bye.